Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. You know, this is even crazy for a nutty liberal like Mika. Joe Scarborough, the guy who wants to be in a, in a rock band, I'm thinking about shaving all his hair off too. She's blaming Joe Biden's staff because I guess they're not acting like they're working in a nursery home because Joe Biden is not qualified to be president and he didn't get 81 million votes, by the way. And so she's saying it's your job to make sure that he gets on and off the stage. Have you ever heard anybody else say this about any other president? He needs help getting on and off the stage. In other words, you need to learn how to manage Joe Biden. They also manage the schedule very carefully. Yeah, I think his staff needs to own his age. I'm just going to be honest. I don't think they do a good job uh, helping out the president. And I'm not talking about it like I'm just saying if you are managing a president's schedule and you are managing a president getting on stage and getting off stage. <laughs> Say hi to him. There was one point that Joe Biden was on stage and it looked like he was going to go off stage and he starts talking to it look like an imaginary band. He says, thanks, guys, but you don't see anybody there. I'm trying to get me off the stage, you're afraid I'm going to try to sing, aren't you? Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. It's pretty pathetic when these liberals who are, were criticizing Donald Trump left and right. They were brutal behind Donald Trump. Now, it's bad enough they've been lying for Joe Biden, pretending as if he's the commander-in-chief, pretending as if he's uh, having these great discussions. For instance, like in NATO. Look, if, if when I show you this clip of him in NATO, look how everybody's looking at him. When, when Joe Biden goes to NATO, People are reaching across him to shake people's hands. When Donald Trump went to NATO, he was moving fellas out the way and let me get in front. This is really pathetic. He needs notes to remember people's names. And Mika seems to think it's your job to make sure you help him get on and off the plane. It's a delight to be with you. And, uh, you know, we're in this historic summit meeting. We're uh, resolving a lot of things, I hope. And uh, we made uh, we made uh, all the more historic by the agreement you reached yesterday in the addition of Sweden. Stage and doing, getting on planes and getting off planes. And yes, he's eighty. You need to be there for him, and you need to make a pathway. And you sure as hell. When these so-called journalists, she now says that you got to make sure he doesn't fall over a sandbag. Number one is that there was no sandbag on that damn stage. Joe Biden tripped over an imaginary sandbag, I guess. What's your job requirements? Making sure the president doesn't trip over sandbag. What about the bicycle? He forgot to put his foot down on the bicycle. Should they make sure he doesn't trip and fall on the bicycle once he comes to a stop? When he's walking up Air Force One, should somebody hold his hand? On the way up Air Force One, I mean, when does it stop? As hell, better make sure he doesn't fall on a sandbag. And I blame the staff for that. I mean, these are the things that are going to hurt him. This woman is maybe maybe the uh, the cocaine that they they weren't able to find whose it was. They just stopped investigating. Maybe it's hers because now she's going to say, "Let Joe Biden do his job. Let him do his speeches. Let him work on policies." Are you serious? Do you really think Joe Biden is working on policies? He needs a cue card to be told to sit down when he enters the room. He needs a cue card to tell people, hello, my name is Joe Biden. So what is she talking about? Maybe she's been hanging out with Hunter or some. She's been hitting that substance. These are things that are going to be played on a loop. OK, let him do his job. Let him do his speeches. Let him work on policy. Let him do his connections in Congress. Unlike any president on, that we've seen, uh, I, I don't know, since Clinton. I've never seen media make so many damn excuses for one individual as the Biden family. 
This whole administration is a train wreck. And now she's acting as if it's her job to make sure you don't criticize if he's not qualified to be the damn president, which he's not. Why are we having all of these conversations about catering to him? I guess it wasn't his fault he's lying about what he knew about Hunter Biden either. Now she's saying it's your job to make sure I guess everything is like utopia for Joe. Is he the president or is he not the president? No president has ever been ha handled like a kindergartner. They treat this man like he's a damn kindergartner, even though most kindergartners are smarter than him. She says she's been on stage. She's done speeches. She can't remember how to get off the stage to just imagine if Donald Trump was acting like Joe Biden. Just imagine. But my God. Make sure, you know, your Secret Service, you're his staff, that you were there and you're telling him what's next. And it's not because don't don't take this as, oh, he can't even get from one place to another. When you're busy and you're on stage and we've been on stage, right. I've done speeches and I'm so nervous. I'm doing the speech. I'm trying to get it right. And when it's done, I don't know which way to go. And I'm looking for direction. He says that you guys have got to do a better job because we can't have these images Technically, we can't have these images of the conservatives making fun of him. She says that we can't have these images of him tripping. We can't have these images of him going the wrong way. That's his whole damn administration ever since he's been in office. He's been going the wrong way. He's been tripping. Joe Biden trips, trips so many times, you can't even count it. Sometimes he just catches himself. He shouldn't be the president. You remember when he was at the beach? She's saying that. We cannot have these images. I guess next thing we have to, be, have to do is get the FBI and the CIA and the NSA to make sure no images. They need to get with some of these social media platforms to make sure no images of Joe Biden tripping over nothing. Joe Biden falling down over a bicycle because he forgot to put his foot down. Joe Biden getting lost on stage. She said we can't have that no more. Do a better job. Because you can't have these video images of the president tripping or the president like going the wrong way. It's not going to work in this presidency because his age is going to be a factor. This clip is really, really funny because this cuckold Joe finally chimes in. She says that uh, Joe Biden can handle being president. You just need to handle where he goes. So he can handle being president, but he can't stop falling down. He can handle being president, but he keeps getting lost on stage. I don't remember any other president getting lost on stage this much. I don't remember any president falling down this much. He can handle being president, but you need to handle everything else. You cannot make this up. His age is going to be a factor, and it's your job to make sure he gets from one place to another. He can handle the presidency. You have to handle his schedule and where he goes. Well, and, and, and the schedule. It makes me mad. The scheduling, I mean, the scheduling is so important. You have, with every president, you have different strengths, you have different weaknesses. If, if, if